Let's make sure we're recording. Yeah. Okay. So um, another installment in our uh, Chabad Moshiach series. So we are now looking at the Gemara's and Hedges of Tzadi Ches Amad Beis. Um, uh, this is um, uh, uh, the bottom. Uh, uh, now let's start a little bit before this actual sugya, where uh, where the one the midi, medium lines. I'm Rav Gidon Marav. Do you see that? Yeah. I'm Rav Gidon Marav. I see him throw the Achleish name Moshiach. The Jews are eventually going to uh, uh, have the pleasure of eating the dates of Moshiach. Uh, I'm Rav Yosef Shita. It's obvious. Elamano Achil. Who's going to eat it? Chilak Ubilik. The question whether Chilak Ubilik actually has any significance or not. Rashi says. Um, so this is like uh, names of demons. So um, although they might still, they might also be nonsense names. They're saying, who's going to eat it? Do you think Chilak and Bilak are each say Moshiach? So the Gemara says, "The Fukim Rabbi Hillel, the Amar Ei Moshiach, the Yisrael Shkarchu, we may chizka." It's a very mysterious Rabbi Hillel. It is very mysterious shita that Moshe, there is no Moshiach in Israel because they already ate at the time to chizka, meaning. That the days that there, there are no Yemosa Mashiach, not that there's not going to be a Mashiach, of course, that's going to be a Mashiach, but there are no Yemosa Mashiach. In other words, Mashiach will come in the year 6000, and that's that. No Yemosa Mashiach. There are no days of uh, glory for this world. As we get closer to the year 6000, it seems that Rabbi Hill may be correct, even though Gemara elsewhere says that uh, Charlie Moray, the Rabbi Hill, that is a kind of almost heretical to say there are no Yemosa Mashiach. But again, as long as there is a Mashiach, that there has to be a Moshe Mashiach, according to Rabbi Hillel, it's not necessary. And not only who, that, who, who was Rabbi Hillel? What's, we don't know. Who? That's why I'm saying it's mysterious. The assumption I always had is that he's the same Hillel Hashem who made up the Luach. Okay. Okay. The thing is that also there's another aspect here, which is that uh, he says they already ate in the days of Chizkiyah. The days of Chizkiyah Melech were relatively short, right? I don't think it was. I think it was king for twenty between twenty and thirty years. I don't remember the exact number of it. But in any event, that means the Moshe Mashiach themselves might be very short. In other words, you know, if Mashiach does come, maybe he'll come 20 or 30 years before the year 6,000. So that's not a comforting thought. In any event, um, again, even Opal's going to grab a that there is no Moshe Mashiach. Since he thinks the Moshe Mashiach could be 20 or 30 years, it's possible Mashiach will only come quite late. And that is the depressing thought. Okay, but that's often a tangent. Okay. Uh, the world was only created for David and Shmuel, and uh, uh, this is um, uh, uh, um, uh, in the merit of David, in the merit of Shmuel, it seems that that's what it means, according to Rashi. I'm sorry. I read the wrong before. David is for the merit of David, Shmuel and Moshe for the merit of Moshe, Rabbi Yochan and Mashiach. To create for the merit of Mashiach. Okay. Now, the, the, uh, so this means Mashiach is going to probably be a great person. Mashmo, what is his name? The Bay Rabbi Shiloh Amre Shiloh Shmo. In the house of Rabbi Shiloh, they said his name was Shiloh. Shiloh is also Rashi Tevas. For what? What does Rashi Tevas Shiloh stand for? Don't know. Nothing. Um, I was just on, uh, saying something else. I made a mistake. Scratch that. Okay. Shneemar Akiyabo Shiloh. So uh, Yaakov Avinu mentions Shiloh as the, the eventual Mashiach, and therefore Shila, his name must be Shiloh. His name is Yanun. It says, Yishmo, Yilam, Lifnei Shemesh, Yanun Shmo, his name before should be forever before the sun. Yanun will be his name. Rebbe Chanina, Mar Chanina Shmo. The house of Rebbe Chanina says, name is Chanina. Shemar Shal, Lo Eten Lachem Chanina. Okay, uh, uh, he won't give you uh, grace. Uh, um, let's say here, um, what Pasuk is this? Uh, Pasuk 9. Uh, is that, is it, about, he tells you, um, that's what we should be the Pasuk from Tilmai Bates, previous one. That's from familiar. Yishmo yalom lifnei shemesh yanu shmo v'izborchu bo go 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 and then this is the vitality of Shemi Alorets Hazos Alor Alorets Hashali Datem Azem Avosachem Abad Dem Shalom Asalim Achim Yom Avlayos Shalom Tein Lachem 
Chanina. So it sounds like in Chutz Laaretz and Golos is not going to be Chanina. So when you come back to the soil, there must be the will be Chanina. Okay. Yeshu is some say Menachem and Chizkiyah Shmo. Then he's now saying Chizkiyah Shemati Rachat me many Menachem Meshiv Nafshi. The Menachem is distant. The consoler is distant, distant from us. Rabbi Ramei Chibat Bei Rebbe Shmo. His name is the white white one of the house of Rebbe. Says, he bears our uh, uh, illness and our pain. Uh, 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 sorry, we consider him the Gua, uh, that he was a leper, smitten by God and afflicted, which and uh, Saras is Hebrew, is white. Okay. Um, then there is. Uh, uh, let's let's see let's see Rashi here before we get to that. Uh, if you take a look over here, Rashi says Yanun Shmo Kmo Yanai Kol Chari Adoresh Achar Shmo. So each base matters would 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 dash in the psukim based on the name of its Rosh Hashiva of its Rebbe. So uh, very often, this, that. Uh, in my opinion, erroneously, to mean that. Um, these these Talmudim consider their Rebbe to be Mashiach. So much so that I've seen, I believe, uh, somewhere or another, and I might be mistaken, but I believe I've seen that Talmudim have an obligation to believe that their Rebbe is Mashiach. So, and certainly, that was just a hop, skip, and jump away from Hasidim being obliged to believe that their Rebbe is Mashiach. This is not true. The fact that the uh, the civil meaning of war is not that they thought that their Rebbe was Moshiach, but they were giving covet to their Rebbe by expounding the verses to tell us that Moshiach's name would be similar to their Rebbe's name. Okay? Okay. Next. Um, back to the Gemara. Um, it's Amrav Nachman. See that? One, two, three, mm-hmm. four, five, six, five, six, five. Um, Rachel, imin chayaya hu. If it's uh, somebody who's alive, kigon ana. It's like us, like me, sorry. Shemar says, v'yo adiromi menu. It's my will come from it. Umo shlom, and it's ruling me kibol, you'd say from it, and it will come. Um, Rav, Rav said, imin chayaya, it's from somebody who's alive, kigon, Rabbi Nakar, it's like Rabbi Yonasi. Imi meisayo, if it's from the dead, Kigon Daniel Ishchamudos. It's like Daniel, who was the Daniel of the time of the Gol's Bavel. Um Rabbi Lam Rabba Sikh Bhagal Amilam David Acher. Hashem is going to give them another David. Shem Abdullah Sashem Okam, they're going to worship God their Lord. There's David Malcolm Asher Kimohem. And the David I will uh, bring up for them. Hekim Lon Amar Elohim. Doesn't say I brought him, uh, uh, I, I brought him up, but I will bring him up. Okay, I'm a lay rap up. Bye bye. A boy says, Hey, bye. How can it be another David? But he doesn't say David. Abdi, David himself, Nasi Lam Lolam is going to be their, um, their, their prince forever. So, the, the, the new David will be Mashiach. Then there will be like an assistant emperor that will be David Amel. Okay, so what does it mean? He mean Messiah, very, very cryptic. Um, so here he says in Rashi, long Rashi, Imechagon Rabbeinu Akadosh, Imashiach Melsin Shachayim Achshav, Vadai Hainu Rabbeinu Akadosh. Okay, so Mashiach is alive. It must be Rabbeinu Akadosh. It must be Rabbi Yiranasi. Why? The Sobel Tachluim, he he bears suffering. The Chazi garment is completely pious. Havel, can I mean by Messiah? Okay, so this, if Mashiach, when first time Rashi learned that, if Mashiach is alive, it's Rabbi Yudan Nasi. Okay. Vadai, Rabbi Yudan Nasi. Right? If Mashiach, but if Mashiach, uh, and then, Vim Hayom Eotshem Mesu Kvar, if it's some from those who already died, Vaya Daniel Ishchamudos, who be Daniel. Shanidam Yisurim, who, who, who was afflicted also, us by being thrown into the lion's den. The Chazi Gamar it was a complete pious person. 
Right, kigon, love that. According to the first John Rashi, kigon is not that not 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 significant. Meaning, according to the first John Rashi, they're identifying who Mashiach is. Mm-hmm. If it's somebody who's alive, it's Rabbi Nasi. If it's somebody who's dead, it's Daniel. And the kigon doesn't mean like, somebody like, but that person himself. According to the second John Rashi, we shall not go on Rabbi Nakadosh. If we want to bring an example of somebody among from amongst the living who is a possible candidate, who would be a possible candidate for Mashiach? Somebody like Rabbi Nasi. And if we want to bring a sample from somebody who's dead, I could go on Daniel Ishamuros. It's like Daniel, the, the precious Daniel from the times of Yor. So, mm-hmm. so according to the first Chan Rashi. There's a, 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 a these these they were identifying Rabs is Rab specifically right? Uh, uh, yeah, Rav. Who said it? Rav. Rav. No, yeah. Yeah, Rab. Yeah, Rab said it's Rav. You're not seems alive. It's Daniel, but somebody's dead. Now, there's a question. Why would Rob choose specifically these two people? That's a good question. But the the uh, uh, the uh, but he's saying there are definitely this either this one or that one. Second Shan Rashi, it seems much more um uh, palatable, right? It's not actually one of these two people. It's these are examples of who it could be. Well, the the first shot in Rashi, then what does the last one could go and mean? That's what I don't understand. Right. So I I don't know why it's there, but he says explicitly Kagon is Labdafka. So this Kagon would not mean like it normally means like, but such as. In other words, I-E. No, E-G instead of I-E, right? Namely, instead of for example. E-G is for example. E-G is for example? Yep. What's I-E? That is. Okay, so the other way around. <laughs> so Kagon could mean Either E G or I E, and that's not going to be between the first John Rashi and second John Rashi. I don't see how it means that is. I just Kagon is always, for example. That's what you think. That's, that's how Rashi is catching here. So is it? explain. I, so read to me the Rashi because I didn't see that in Rashi. Look at Rashi. Rashi says, "Vahai Kagon lab dafka." Just before Lisha Krina. What does that mean? It means don't think Kagon means that it's an example. Kigonia means that it is. I know Kigon usually does not mean that, but that's what Raji is saying it means here. Okay. 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 And now, here's something from, um, not this one, from uh, some Lubavitcher source. Chabad Israel sounds like Chabad in Israel. So if you take here, um, uh, Ashelahi. See that? Yes. Yahim Oto Basar Vadam, Hayavliot Mishu Shezulo Hapam Rishona, Shinim Sabin Hachaim, Oshkayemet Absolut Kiaz, and Mishu Shekvanif Taumi Olam, who Yakumit Hiaki Devi Gold Israel. And then it brings down our Gemara. Okay. And then it brings down some Zor Kodesh, which conveniently without a source. Gamba Zor Kodesh Muvaki Amut Mashiach Viakum. uh uh it says, "Amru Masech Derek Eretz Zuta Tishani Chlesu B'Gan Gan Eina Mechayim Chanoch Ben Yered Ve'Lyo U Mashiach." I shall lecha shiem a melch min a melch a Mashiach min a kamim b'tchia. Ki kvar nistapku alzeh perikhelak im mimetai go Daniel Ish Chamudot. So there's a barbanel. This evidently says that. Mashiach goes uh, uh, goes up uh, to Shemayim and comes down again. Um, it doesn't it doesn't 
that doesn't prove that he is from the dead. Baal Shem Tov has said to have an aliyat neshama, gone up to Shemaim, and seen and talked with Mashiach. It probably means Mashiach was not yet born yet, or not that he had died and ascended to heaven. So that uh, Barbara now is ambiguous. But uh, he brings down here, Gam Gal Stechemer, Rabbi Chai, Echizke Medina, Mitzatet, Ipe Chazal Elu, Mitzenki, Sharut, Zush, Tit Kashem, the Mikrash, Shatiel, Amisel, Zhut Kadol. And therefore, um, there will be um, um, with the great miracles that Mashiach can be somebody who had from yesteryear who uh, rises up to um, to be resurrected and then saves the Jewish people. Okay, so uh, before the Rebbe was Nifter, Chabad never used the first part of this Gemara, which we learned, to say that the Rebbe is Mashiach, A, because it says Menachem is one of the alternatives, right? And B, they just explain why they would believe the Rebbe is Mashiach, because we see that every uh, every group of Tambidim pointed at their Rebbe as the potential Mashiach, okay? They, because the Brahman says if Mashiach is killed, he's not Mashiach, they did not entertain the possibility that if the Rebbe died, he would be Mashiach. They just explained explain that he would uh, he would be Mashiach, and uh, uh, during his lifetime. And so, now, no well, I just missed what you said. Try again. They did not explain. They did not countenance that the Rebbe would die, and they usually conceded that if the Rebbe died, there would be a problem that he would be Mashiach. But then okay. he died. So then they had to change the, the change the, the change their uh, axiom, and the axiom now became no. The second part of the Gemara, that Mashiach, according to the first chapter Rashi, the Mashiach can be somebody who died already. Okay. Okay. Now I, I want to add, add what I forgot before. Uh, uh, something which was. Um, I can't remember this. The Rashi Tevis Shilo. Yeah, usually in Chabad they use it, but they use it Shin Yud Lamed Vav, not Shin Yud Lamed Hey. And the, when they write the Rebbe Shilo, it means Shi Yichye Le Olam Void. Like you find some numbers on there, Yamakos, Yichye Adonayim Moreh Rabbeinu Melech HaMashiach Le Olam Void. So that is an upgrade to Shlita. Shlita just means Sheyichiel Chaim Lorech Yomim, sorry, Tovim Varukim. Sheyichiel Lorech Yomim Tovim Varukim, which means you should live a life, a good and long life. Shila means Sheyichiel Lolem Boy, you should live for eternity. Okay, so be that as it may, so uh, the way I always understood this is that uh, based on the doctrine of Yechida Klolis, the way it works is like the famous motion from the Dubna Magi, which we may have mentioned several times already, which is that the Dubna Magi saw bulls, target after target with an arrow shot through the bullseye, and he ran after the archer, asked the archer to tell him a secret, and the archer told him the secret of my success is that um, during my success is that I always shoot the arrow at a blank target, and after shooting the arrow at the blank target, I draw the bullseye around the target. And that is, uh, of course, how I imagine the bullseye. So the, you have to start with the assumption that the Rebbe is M Mashiach, and then make the sources work with that assumption. Mm -hmm. That's what you, uh, why do you do that? I mean, what's the evidence you do that? Because obviously, you, oh, you're not taking the Gemara Kapshuta. <laughs> the Gemara says that. Uh, again, according to verse John Rashi, Daniel is going to be Mashiach, even Messiah. Right? Yeah. It's not Kigong. According to the same Rashi, it's Kigong, but then it can be anybody else. But it's not, uh, that means uh, it, it, it's not, uh, 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 it's not talking about Mashiach coming back from the dead. 
Mm-hmm. It's talking about somebody who's alive will be Mashiach, and that person will be somebody like Daniel. Right. I don't know if I stressed that enough, enough before. So according again, according to the second Shem Rashi, Daniel's not going to be Mashiach because he's dead. It's going to be somebody who's alive who's like Daniel. Right. That I got. Right. So the um so, but so the question is, but if you take a verse from Rashi, it's got to be Daniel. Why would it be the Rebbe? So the answer is obviously that you hold that at the time of Chazal's statement, Daniel was the greatest candidate ever. But since Chazal, there been, there's been another candidate who's a gr- better candidate. But they, they didn't know about Lubavitch Rebbe being Moshiach. Therefore, they chose Moshiach must be Daniel. So mm-hmm. later on, when, when Lubavitch Rebbe comes on the scene, he becomes the great, great greatest candidate, supersedes Daniel after his death again, and therefore he's Moshiach. So of course, the, the, um, uh, the begs the question, so why? Okay, so Daniel was only chosen at that time because for that generation he was the greatest hitherto. Right. By this time, we we should have many candidates. Why specifically the Rebbe? Why can't it be the Baal Atanya? Why not the Baal Shem Tov? Right? Why not Rashi? Why not the Rambam? Why not the Rambam? Why, why not? I mean, if we're talking about Chizki, why not Chizkiya, right? I mean, yeah, Chizkiya, he... right? Okay. Yes, but the assumption is Chizkiah messed up. You know, one, you got one shot and not, that's it. But I guess, I'm, I, I'm just speculating. But so the point is, so the point is that um, in terms of uh, uh, why would they pick the Rebbe, as it says in that, uh, on that Lubavitch website, that Nasi Ador Melech HaMashiach, it only works with the Yechida Klois and the assumption that the Rebbe was the final Yechida Klois who remains the Yechida Klois for all times. So otherwise, there's no, uh, otherwise you cannot contradict the Gemara and, uh, and say, or it would be audacious to contradict the Gemara and say, it's just, A, I'm just not saying that. It would be audacious to A, contradict the Gemara and B, say it's specifically the Rebbe. You only say that A, it, it's contra- the contradicting the Gemara is too, okay? And B, that it's specifically the Rebbe if you are confident that because he was the final of the Clovis, he's got to be the one. Mm-hmm. Okay, now um, uh, there's another aspect of Moshiach, which I don't know if you want to deal with, which is up to you, which is uh, uh, which we have not spoken about yet, which is whether we have the right to demand Moshiach. In other words, uh, we have a concept and we have a song which was popularized by, uh, by um, Chabad, uh, I'm so have no fear. Mashiach will be here this year. We want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. We don't want to wait. There are several other songs along those uh, lines which have been generated by uh, Jewish uh, song songsters in the last uh, forty years or so. So can one demand Mashiach? Because the Gemara seems to say you're not supposed to demand Mashiach. Yet Chabad clearly demands Mashiach. Right. The question is, how do we understand that there is such a concept and whether it is not just a uh, Lubavitch concept, but also a generic Hasidic concept, which I believe it is. So is that, is that something we can go into next week if you like to do that? Right. Are we going to see the uh, the Rambam next week? R- in, R- R- besides when we already saw? We, we didn't get to do the Shatai Frankel in the Rambam. The, the oh, you want to do Shatai Frankel? Sure. Yeah, we can do it next week. We can do it now if you want, but we can do it next week. It's fine. I think next week would be good. Okay, so that gives us maybe one or two weeks more, and uh, I will not as I will not be for the, our general um, listenership. I will not be responding to comments uh, 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 in this series until the very end of the series, and uh, with the Rishusa my Chabrusa, I may actually respond to the comments on a solo basis. Right. Very good. Okay. Have a good week. Thank you. Take it easy. Bye.